In today's video, I am going to be breaking down, in my opinion, the most underrated dividend stock in the United States, and that is Domino's Pizza. This stock is absolutely insane. First off, it's a pizza place, so no matter what, it's recession-proof because everyone loves pizza, and they have an actual app for the phone that is actually pretty good. You can order a pizza from your phone. I know many restaurants are now doing that, but guess what? Domino's did it first, and they've been really, really taking a lot of share when it comes to the pizza market in the United States and also in Canada. Now, when you go walk around the streets, I want you to, at supper time, I want you to count how many Domino's delivery cars that you see, because at least in my area, you see a ton of them. Now, their forward dividend is not huge. It's three quarters of a percent. It's 0.79% of a dividend. You're getting around $3.76 per share every single year. Now, they are being traded at around $475 a share, but the underrated part is the fact that they grow their dividend all the time. That's, that's the underrated part of this. And of course, DPZ, or Z if you're in the States, is their ticker symbol. They have an average volume of 456,000 shares traded every single day. And their PE ratio is 38, which is actually, from what I've looked into, it's on the higher end of PE ratios when it comes to other restaurants, other fast food chains. However, this is looking pretty darn solid so far. Now if you look at their max chart, you're looking at around 2015 where they were at $100 a share. It's now six years later and they're trading at just under 500 bucks. They were earlier on this year, they were at $525 a share. Now they're at 475. And you're looking at in six years, if you put $100 in, you would now be worth $475. On the flip side, if you put $10,000 in, you would be at a massive $47,000. Now that is a growth stock in my opinion. And if you really look at this chart, if we seen the fact that of course somehow COVID brought down the Domino's pizza stock that just blows my mind because guess what they have delivery they're a pizza place all of these restaurants that we see struggling right now and in the past over the past 18 19 months all of these restaurants that were struggling Domino's never really did struggle they had less foot traffic in store but they had more in home or at home deliveries because people were too afraid to go out. Well, guess what? Domino's was already pre-set up to do that because they already, because every almost every single pizza place already has in-home delivery anyways. So combine that together and you're looking at something that's essentially virus and recession proof because people are gonna be eating anyways and they've got deals going on all the time which is what brings me to the app guess what when you go onto your phone and you go to the Domino's app you can go in and you can literally say delivery or carry out you click on that and then you can go through the list of coupons they give you coupons on the app it's crazy. You don't have to go and search online to try and figure out coupon codes. They already have them on there. Now this is the crazy part, the dividend growth. They pay every quarter, they're paying four times a year. And check this out, March of 2020, they increased their dividend from 65 cents to 78 cents. March of 2021, they increased from 78 cents to 94 cents. That is a massive, massive increase of about 16 cents per share. That is a 20 and a half percent dividend increase year over year. And then if we go back to the previous increase from 65 cents all the way to 78 cents, that's a 13 cent increase, which is another 20 percent increase there. What about before that even? It went from 55 cents to 65 cents. Well, let's take a glance at what that is. That's a 10 cent increase. If we go 10 divided by 55, 
that's an 18.1% dividend increase. That is massive increases year over year over year. You're literally doubling your dividend in three years. And check this out, it even goes back down to even 2013, they were paying and increasing their dividends massively. If we look at their earnings, they have had two good earnings in qu uh, quarter after quarter. They've had two slight misses earlier on. Now, quarter four is coming up very soon. That's going to be coming not this quarter, but the quarter after. And that's, again, going to be a massive quarter. From there, if we look at financials, check this out. Revenue increases every year, including COVID years. They also have re earnings, revenue and earnings increases every single year. And combine that together, you're looking at a very good profitable company. We can see this right here, year over year over year, higher and higher profit. You want to see increases in profit every single year because that's going to tell you how much money that company is going to be making and hopefully that continues into the future. As we can see that this is a very, very good company already set up for the future when it comes to technology. They did that many, many years ago. And then we can see now that they are virus proof as a company. They are also very, very good when it comes to their dividend. Their dividend growth is insane. If you look at it as every three years, obviously we all know that whatever happens in the future is no guarantee on what happens, or whatever happens in the past is no guarantee what happens in the future. But when it comes down to it, when we look at the dividend, let's say it doubles continuously every three years, right now, you're looking at a potential doubling in three years of the dividend, which would then bring it to one and a half percent from on your initial investment. And then another three years from now, it would be a 3% dividend on your initial investment. This is not including the fact that the stock is going up massively over probably the next couple of years like it has over the last couple of years, and the stock continues to outperform the market. From there, if you're looking at nine years down the road, it now all of a sudden turns into a 6% dividend all on your initial investment, and then 12 years down the road, it becomes a 12% dividend on your initial investment, not including the fact that the stock is probably going to appreciate as well. Obviously, I need to stress this, we can never tell the future from what happens in the past, but if the, what happens in the past continues, this is what's going to happen. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not own any stock in Domino's. I may own maybe a few shares here and there through ETFs, but I really highly doubt it. I own ZWA. I never look down maybe into the smaller shares. I really only really care about the top 10 companies. But from there, I don't directly own the stock of Domino's. Remember, to do your own research, don't trust any random person on the internet. They may have motives because maybe they purchased stock or not in certain companies, but I personally do not own Domino's shares. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.